Welcome to Healthy Choices. This is Samuel Entry, and uh, this is your home for healthy living and long life. Always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, we are talking about the elephant in the room today, okay? The elephant in the room when it comes to Africa's um, healthy choices or Africans eating right. This is the elephant, and this is where we get to work. Now, remember our secrets to healthy um, to weight loss. Cut 500 calories a day, that is 3,500 calories a week, which is equivalent to one pound. And if you do, by cutting 500 calories a day, you can easily lose a pound a week. This is an established scientific fact. And when we are able to do this consistently, over a course of 10 weeks, when we are cutting about 1,000 calories out of our diet, we will lose about two pounds a week. By 10 weeks, we can lose 20 pounds. I am over here, I have lost 20, by this morning, I have lost 27 pounds. That is amazing. And I want you to be able to do that. It starts with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates. Let's get to work. Let me go straight to the big, big guys. Every African has jasmine rice. Every African has jasmine If you don't have jasmine rice at home, you are a very unique African. Now, everyone. Please listen to me carefully. Rice, white rice, of all the food God made on earth, white rice is actually one of the worst foods. Take it from me, white rice. You say, well, God did not make white rice. And you're right, God made brown rice. But we, out of our wisdom, have converted it into white rice, and it's actually one of the worst foods on earth. So, we have to find, and I'm going to show you why. We have to find ways to make white rice work. It starts by cutting the calories and being smart about a few things. But look at the calories. Let's start with the calories. It says at the back here, we're going to flip your rice bag at home if you don't believe me. It says at the back here, for every quarter of a cup. And when I say cup, I'm not talking about a milo can or a big can at home. When we say cup, we mean... 240 mils, which is this small thing. That is what we mean by cup. 240 mils. A quarter of a cup is this amount. And this is exactly what they are saying here, that this little thing, when I take a quarter of it, gives me 180 calories. And I know people, are, their mind are going crazy. 180 calories. Everybody wants to go in for one cup. So we go in for one cup. And one cup, if one quarter is 180, one cup is 720 calories. Can you imagine? If you boil one cup, you should end up with something about this much. Something about this much. So, let's get the points out of the way. Number one, white rice is not the best food on earth. Number two, brown rice is good. If you can eat brown rice, I say eat brown rice. You get a few, a lesser amount of calories, about 10 calories per quarter of a cup. Not a big deal. And it comes with a lot of nutrients, a lot of fiber and other nutrients, which you don't get here. The other thing I want you to be at, pay attention of is the calories. One cup gives you this amount. So the secret, again, we are trying to cut how many calories? 500 calories. If I divide this in two, that is going to save me 360 calories, just right there, just by dividing this in two. The other thing is make sure that when you have cut it into, you are replacing it with a lot of fruits and vegetables, with little dressing. Keep in mind, keep in mind, that this one cup is 720 calories, and then if you make your stew, you will have had a whole bunch of stew. We already learned that oil, any oil about this size, which I hope you can appreciate the actual size, about this size is about 480 calories. So you have still about this size of oil in it, even let's say half of it, which is 240, plus your vegetables here and there, which makes it about say even 300 or 350 here, let's add, make it that way. You have your chicken or your beef, an extra two, 300 calories. That alone, between outside of the right, you have 600 calories. If you add a 600 to your 720, we are talking about 1320. The total calorie you need in a day is 2,000. So 1320, you are close to it. 
This is minus the orange juice or the coke you drank of, on top of it, which is 250 calories, which will bring it up to about 1600. We are, and this is all one meal. And that is why the obesity problem is huge. Our solution, cut your rice in two. Replace it with two cups of vegetables with a little bit of dressing and you'll be in good shape. So that is my issue on white rice. When you're eating your fufu, be very careful, guys. One cup again, when you go to Walmart, just make sure you buy a cup. One cup of dry fufu, according to this, is a good 437 calories. One cup. And I'm sure a lot of people are saying, I eat about two cups. So by then, you're almost at 900 calories from just your fufu, which is way too much. This is, you add the meat, all the meat you have on the fufu, and you're talking about 1,500 calories. Again, you eat the 1,500, 1,500 calories is me on the treadmill jogging for 150 minutes, me walking for about four, sometimes six hours. That is six hours to burn, 100, to burn about 1,500 calories. Cut the fufu in half. If you want to eat the whole fufu, cut it in half, eat some around 2 p.m. and later on around two, three hours, four hours before you sleep, you eat the other half. At the end of the day, don't eat about 1,500 calories in a meal. That is way too much. So that is the fufu. Now we are coming to the big real elephant, bankum. And by the way, I have all of the calories listed here. It's called Sam's Caloric Sheet. You can get it at our website, Africa's Healthy Choices, and it has all the calories of every Ghanaian food on there. Now, let's start from the top, kenke. 400 grams of kenke, 400 grams of kenke gives you 1,440 calories. This is about 400 grams, a little over actually. I weighed it yesterday. It's a little over. So this one is giving me about 1,500 calories. Kenke is ridiculously high in calories. Our solution, avoid it if you can, or divide it in two. Eat a little half. Now, we already told you that being satisfied is all a mind game. Trust me, people will, will, will almost stone me when I say eat half of a kenke. But if you're very hungry and you just had this with stew, that is probably ground pepper with a little or no oil, you have your face on the side, that alone should come up to about a thousand calories because this year already is 700 calories. So everything you add is going to add up. So be very careful. When you eat this, and then later on you can eat the other half or stay away from it. 1440 calories is way too much. And that is my issue on kenke. This is the fancy kenke. This is a huge humongous kenke. That this one I'm sure is about 1600 calories. Banku comes in very close. Banku comes in at a... This is about two cups. If I fill this cup, uh, this in cup, give me about two cups. And that's 1400 calories. 1400. The entire day you need 2000. The banku alone is giving you 1400 plus the meat and the oil and then you are talking about 2300 and the entire day you need 2000 with one meal you overshot so where do you think all the extra energy is going it's going around our belly it's giving us all these diseases and we have to be very careful 1400 for banku be very careful now i added this here sardines go very well with with our kinky and we love them we love them we love them but sardines are not benign. They have a lot of oil, pour out the oil. This sardine is 250 calories. This little sardine, 250 calories. I have here cornmeal. Cornmeal, for those who are doubting my kinky calories, is actually written here. One quarter of a cup, one quarter of a cup gives me 110 calories. <laughs> it's unbelievable. One quarter of this cup gives me 110 calories. And this weighs 30 grams. So multiply it to get the kinky um, calories and you'll be amazed that corn is indeed a high caloric meal. Now, yams are good, um, gives you all a lot of fiber, even white yams gives you a lot of fiber. It comes with a lot of calories. For yam, I have written, written here that the African yam is 400 grams, which is the size of about my fist, gives you about 465 calories, a lot of calories. So by the time you are done with two, of my first 900 calories, you are going into the high zone. This is cassava. Ghanaians, we know cassava better than anybody else. And Africans, all Africans know and love their cassava. Now, 
For, this is the highest calorie of all the, the, the root fibers. We call them root fibers. 400 grams, which is about the size of my fist, gives you 653 calories. 400 grams. So by the time you have eaten about two of my fist, you are talking about 13, 1400. That is unbelievable. So guys, cut down on your plantains. Garis are processed, processed cassavas, and if the processing brings down the, um, the calories slightly, one cup of gari, where do I have it, is 220 calories. So when you're using a gari for your wache, just be very gentle about it. The other thing I want to talk about, my favorite, is sweet potatoes. Sweet potato, just, I just cut this open to show you. See how fresh, pink, and orangey it looks? That is all beta carotene, which we talked about in the vegetable side, being in carrot, in carrot. This here will give you a good, for sweet potato, vitamin A is 214% of vitamin A. 214, so it helps with, it protects your eyes. It is, vitamin A is also an antioxidant. On top of that, it comes in with a lot of fiber. It comes with a lot of vitamin C, 50% of your daily need. Potato about this much, which is about two sevens, gives you 100% of your vitamin C, an antioxidant. It gives you lycopene, an anti-cancer um, antioxidant. So great, great, great source of nutrition. And I want us to eat a lot more sweet potato. Cut it up, boil it, eat it with your, um, uh, your spinach stew, eat it with your vegetables stew, eat it with something that is nutritious. And then plantains, another big source of nutrient, big source of carbohydrate in the African community. A medium-sized plantain gives you about 220 calories, not too bad. It has more vitamin C here in a medium-sized plantain than an orange. So those of you who are sick and you have a cold and your immune system is down, you can eat a lot of plantains. Do not fry it. If you fry it, one little slice gives you 68 calories. By the time you are done with 5, 10, 10 slices, you are in bad shape. Stay away from frying plantain. Bake it. Toast it, do whatever you want to do with it. Excellent source of, um, of carbohydrate, an excellent source of vitamin C. Again, an excellent source of fiber. It has some fiber in there also, which makes it very good. And iron, believe it or not, iron is also in there, which makes plantain, whole plantain, very good. I want to talk about rice again. I want to come back and say something quickly about rice. Rice, because it has zero nutrients. Take a look. For those who are doubting me, just flip the back of your rice and look for look through it. All the nutrient vitamin A zero, vitamin C zero, calcium zero, iron zero. Everything is zero. All it gives you is plain starch, which just makes you big. So there is no point consuming rice like it is manna or food sent from heaven. Let's eat just a little bit of rice. Quarter, little like two quick three, four spoons of just a little bit and load it with vegetables, make it nutritious. Load it with a lot of stew. Do not eat the rice with the stew. Do not have a whole bunch of rice and say, I'm eating it with the stew. No, have a whole bunch of stew with fresh vegetables in it and then have a, just a little bit of rice to eat with the stew with because the stew is actually the main meal and not the rice. Again, another smart thing we can do is to eat a lot of rice and beans. Some people keep it rice and beans or watching. Beans is by far the best food on earth. And take that from me. The highest concentration of antioxidants, the highest concentration of fibers. 68% for a quarter of a cup. Huge supply of fiber. Mix it with this very bad food. And then you, all of a sudden, this becomes a good food. Put more beans in your wache, put more beans in your rice and stew because that is where the money is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is my rundown of uh, our most common sources of uh, carbohydrates. I hope we are going to start making the rice adjustment. As good as they may be, some of them may be, they come with a lot of calories. Watch the calories, cut it, avoid rice if you can. If you have to eat it, white rice, go for it, but then make sure you are using small amount, one quarter of a, of a dry, one quarter of a cup of dry rice is a good 180 calories, so be very careful. If you want the full calorie sheet, visit us on our website, Africa's Healthy Choices. Thank you again, and as always, 
like the video like our page subscribe to youtube and uh, get more videos go online to our website africa's healthy choices you can learn more about all of these things get a nutritional profile and you can also order the full dvd set give it to an uncle give it to a brother someone who is going to benefit from this someone who is with dealing with weight issues and they are trying to make sure they are coming down on their weight remember cut 500 calories a day 500 to a thousand calories a day and then you are going to be losing about a pound a day a pound a week god bless you thank you very much i'll see you in the next video